Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be unboxing a water bag that I recently purchased from Amazon. It is made by Polyform. It is the 14 inch by 19 inch, the A2 size. So I'm going to be unboxing it, going over all the details, show you guys what comes in the box. It should be pretty standard, pretty basic. And then all the other little items that I purchased for it. This way we can install it together and uh, let you guys know what my thoughts are. We're going to fill it up. And we're gonna, I'm actually gonna weigh it. I'm gonna weigh it with the water. This way you guys know what to expect. All right, so stick around and uh, let me bring in that camera a little closer. All right, fellas, so let's go ahead and go over everything. Um, that's the best angle I could get for that camera. I couldn't really zoom out much. So first things first, everything that I purchased, all these small items, I purchased it from a Lowe's chain. This is a uh, quarter inch chain. It's rated at 1,200 pounds. Got four feet, and I ended up paying ten dollars for this. A quick wing snap, rated at 1,500 pounds. This is like oh, three bucks. Anchor shackle. This is the uh, the half inch, and this is rated at geez, 4,000 pounds. I paid like six bucks for this one. And then we have the uh, carabiner snap. This one is everything zinc plated too. This one's rated at 730 pounds. And then this one was like six bucks. And then you got your garden hose adapter. This thing was like three bucks. So I'm gonna go with a chain this time because um, usually I would just go with a rope, which I'll show you guys the difference. Everything else, I use rope because uh, it's gonna be less noise. I want less noise, less vibration, and uh, less shaking in the house. But with a chain, um, I want to be able to adjust this back. You know, I'm, I want to have it low, I want to have it high. So we'll see, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. All right, so, I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty basic. You know, A2 boat buoy, like I said, 14 inches by 92 inches. And that's it, like there's nothing to it, it's just a box and a buoy. Next, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna inspect this, just in case. Everything looks fine. Shackle looks like it's gonna be just perfect size for this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this up with water and we're gonna pretty much get started. gentlemen so I have some good news and I have some bad news the good news is we got it filled <laughs> that took a while I got wet a little I got splashed a little but you really got to put pressure on that uh, water hose adapter all right so put pressure in there keep that pressure in there and it's gonna take maybe about five minutes to fill up all right the bad news is this anchor shackle is not gonna fit and this is in the uh, half inch size right there so I still want to use one of these. I'm just going to go to the store maybe tomorrow or next couple days and get the uh, upgraded size, which should be three quarters or one inch. There it is again, A2 size made in the USA. Again, this will be a nice little addition for my home gym. Let's go ahead and weigh it. All right, fellas. Well, let's weigh this thing because I'm curious. Let's see where we're at. All right, 52 pounds.
Tesla. So the installation is done. We're gonna test it right now. And I'm gonna make this look cleaner. I am gonna cut this chain right here. I don't like my stuff to look tacky. This right now, the zip tie, I'm just using it for noise reduction as a test. Like I said, I'm gonna make this look cleaner. And I am gonna use the shackle right there. I don't think that looks good right there. And I like my stuff to look good. All right, so yeah, we'll be cutting the chain. I'll probably, I'll probably leave like six inches. This way I can lower this bag, go lower, go higher. Um, just depending on the, what areas I'm working on. So we're gonna do a test and uh, I'll give you guys my uh, afterthoughts. Let me tell you guys what I bought after punching this bag. You for sure want to punch this thing with boxing gloves, hand wraps, or even MMA gloves. You don't want to punch this, you don't want to punch this thing bareheaded. It's pretty hard. It feels like you're hitting an actual person. Um, it feels like you're hitting somebody like in the body area. You know? um, the A2 size, I recommend a lot because you're going to be able to practice your head movement. You're going to be able to practice your bobbing and weaving, ducking underneath and all that. The bag still moves, but not a lot. I've seen uh, videos on the A1. Nothing moves a lot. It shakes a lot. I mean, nothing goes really high when you uppercut it. This is still going to have movement, but not as much as uh, the next size up. I've seen the videos on the A3. They don't move much. So for those of you who are uh, looking for an all around, I think the A2 size is perfect. You know, if you're gonna want something that sits still and you're just gonna want to practice power punches, I would go with maybe A3 or A4. But I would say go with the A2 first and then work your way up. You know, if you're somebody like me that already has a 65, 75 pound of ringside um, bag like this one right here, then this bag right here, this A2, is going to be a nice little upgrade for my gym. So, I recommend this bag, man. I really love it. It's something different. It's fun, too. You know, you're gonna get a good workout. So, I hit this thing with power, little jabs, everything. I mean, it takes it off. All right, so you guys already know about the chain, the water bag, A2 size. But if you guys decide you guys need the uh, a wood beam hanger, I strongly recommend the um, Everlast wood beam hanger. You can get these on Amazon for about 15 bucks. I've had them for about a year and I have no complaints, no issues, no cracks, nothing bad to say about them. Next is the uh, spring. I got this from Ringside. It's rated at 100 pounds and I paid 10 bucks for this. What this will do is it'll reduce the noise reduction and um, the vibration in the house. So I noticed when I was hitting the bag, it wasn't very loud, even with the chains. I think the zip tie helped, 
But like I said, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. I will be using a uh, one inch shackle right here to make it look a little bit more, more professional. You know, I like my stuff to look clean. But I do have a video that helps, that uh, goes over the installation process with the spring and the hanger for the noise reduction and the vibration. It really helps. Just uh, when you install the uh, hanger, make sure you uh, mount it in the studs, okay? All right, so all together, if you were to use a shackle with the um, attachments, the wood beam holder and all that, uh, you're gonna be spending around 115 bucks, 120 bucks. Without the spring, without the hanger, if you get some basic cheap $5 hanger, you're gonna spend about 90 bucks for the chain, for the chain, the bag, the shackle, and the uh, carabiners, all right? So you're looking at 90 bucks right there. If you go with the spring and the hanger, that's another 20, 25 bucks. But I do recommend you go this route, all right? So let me show you guys my gym really quick. I have the 100 pound heavy bag. I have the speed bag over here. I have my scale. I have my gloves, my mitts, um, headgear over there, my wraps, all that stuff, all this stuff. I use this about three, four days a week. All right. And I have my dryer on right now. I forgot to turn that off. My TV my timer, lights, I have everything in here. Tire right there for um, inside boxing. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below, I'll get to them. If you guys want me to do a review on any of these other items in the garage, also let me know down below. I'll leave the links to all this stuff, all the goodies in the description. All right, gentlemen, let me show you guys what I ended up doing. So I found this three quarter inch shackle on Amazon. I have Prime, so I ordered it and I got it the next day. I just finished uh, three rounds on this the next day. That's the final look right there. I love it. Get the back, I really recommend it. Any questions, leave them down below. See you on the next one.